Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video, and it is tier list update time. Yes, we're finally adding Philvis to the tier list, and to be honest, it's taken time for two reasons. One, I've just been super busy over the last week, obviously some stuff regarding the second channel, but also primarily stuff IRL, dealing with a new house that I'm trying to look for, or more so a room I'm trying to look for. I'm not trying to buy an entire house. There's no way I can do that. I cannot afford it. We cannot afford it. We cannot afford it. But I'm looking for a new place to stay. So, of course, I'm looking into that IRL. That's taken up a lot of my time. But also, the second reason is also been, to be honest, I've been trying to test out Philvis a little bit more. Because, of course, in this tier list update, it's all about Philvis. So, I've been able to dedicate and devote my time a little bit more to Philvis. Of course, I managed to pull her as well, which is one of the reasons why I'm able to obviously take my time and test her out. But along with that, she is also available to use in the brand new abyssal exploration mode as a test and trial unit so of course two avenues for us to take a look at this brand new unit one in a more basic level of course mine being a zero and then of course on the other side philvis at a5 albeit at a lower level but at a5 nonetheless so it gives us a good idea on how philvis performs at lower awakening levels and at a higher awakening level as well now of course if you guys going to enjoy this video remember to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about philvis do you guys like the look of her do you guys dislike her let me know your thoughts have you used her of course in in abyssal exploration and did you pull for her i'm quite curious to see what you guys have to say down below let me know in the comment section down below now i think i should rip the band-aid out and just say initially i was obviously deliberating between double s and s right the problem with putting her in a double s is that her com competition and uh, in indirectly what i'm trying to say here is that she's on the same level as otaro on the other hand, if I put her in S, do I really think that she's that much worse than Otaral, even though it's it's just a tier difference? Is it that much of a difference? Not really, no. I think there's two ways to look at it when it comes to Philvis, in my opinion, based on my testing, right? And I think this is going to be the big make or break for individuals. I think Philvis is a better offensive option than Otaral, which is wild to say, I know, it is wild to say. I do think Philvis has good defensive capabilities as well. Don't get me wrong. But I think especially with the stack she has and everything, I think you could see a little bit more out of Philvis. However, the issues is getting those stacks can be quite tricky. Not difficult, but tricky. Because her first skill has a very long animation and it gives you two stacks. But you have to get both attack animations off in order for her to get those uh, extra stacks. You cannot cancel the animation mid uh mid skill animation you cannot cancel it in, in between usually with the unit right like for example harihime you can cancel her uh, heal animation when you see the green number pop up right similarly here philvis when you get that first stack you could cancel it and only gain one stack which is good for when you're approaching five stacks because of course you can get uh you can get a maximum of five stacks on Phyllis, the magic buff stat, of course, right? But the thing is, she only can uh, get two on her first skill, which means you'd need to get two, two, and one. So in that sense, that final string, you can probably cancel the animation. But again, sitting through that first two animations can be long and i'm talking about philvis at a0 here by the way not a1 not a2 not anything higher than that i'm talking about her at a0 i think that is a bit of a detriment not only that her skills are her focus right she's very much similar to a christmas eyes in the sense where her ultimate doesn't deal any damage her main damage comes from her second skill. She utilizes those buffs there. Um, the stack buffs that is specifically there. And that makes her really strong in a way as well. But again, it comes down to that whole stacking. Takes a little bit of time and can be quite tricky to accomplish. Defensive capabilities wise, I'd still say Otaral has a better shot of being a better candidate as a defensive unit. Just because of the knockback res, the defensive capabilities, shielding everybody and so on and so forth. 
Uh, I think you can see him being a little bit of a better unit, in my opinion, defensively. But I think Philvis has a higher ceiling when it comes to being an offensive unit. Now, I do think Philvis's introduction, because she's also non-time limited and everything, I think has brought down Tione's ranking down to A. Um, I'm not going to lie, by the way, this is the second time I'm recording this video because I've just been in two minds about placing her in SS or S. In the previous video, I placed her in SS. I initially started by saying I was going to put her in S, and then I switched her to SS. However, using her a little bit in various game modes and stuff, right? Uh, trying her out in ranking event, trying her out in, uh, you know, Abyssal Exploration, trying her out in MSS on auto at least, right? I just found Otaral to be better overall still. And in all honesty, I am going to dump Philvis from double S where I initially placed her back to S. I just think that generally speaking, right, across all the awakening levels and everything, I think Otaral is a better unit overall. That being said though, Philvis being a non-time limited option and also being capable of uh, holding her own offensively when you can get her going, which can be tricky. I think the biggest tricky part about Philvis is those stacks. Building up those stacks is one of the things that I found really frustrating, to be quite honest, when I was using her. But if you can build those stacks, right, and if you can use those stacks really quickly and everything, I think she can be a very solid unit. And that's where I think the higher awakenings come into play, in all honesty, with Philvis, right? If you take a look in game, right? I'm gonna uh, bring up the game right now. And if you take a look at Philvis's higher awakenings, you can see what I mean by her higher awakenings enable her to be better. You know, it enables her to be better because obviously, in the case of Technique One, you get two stacks of skill one, which is super nice. And technically, with the ability board, it goes up to three stacks, right? Then on the special move, you also get a hundred percent technique cooldown regeneration as well, which will help out tremendously. You get that at A one actually. So even if you get Philvis to in all honesty, A2, which I think is the most critical point because A1 increases the special move to get that technique reduction cooldown and everything. And then uh, Awakening 2 enhances technique 1 to get that second stack and everything. I think you'll see her be a completely different and much better unit overall. But I could say the same thing about every unit in this game. You know, in that sense, like, they, uh, the... Awakenings definitely do improve these units massively. And I think that makes a difference. Now... What I will do as well, because I've looked at this tier list once again, and I think there's one thing I need to do. Wealth also goes down to A. The thing with Wealth is that he is, one, a time-limited unit, and two, very much only a shielder. Like, that's all his MO is. He's just a shielder. Whereas Philvis, I think, has a dynamic to her to make her a lot better. And I think that's why I would say putting her in S at least, if not double S, at least an S, is good in all honesty and i really generally do believe that so for me i think i'm gonna stick with my point of uh Philvis being an s i'm not gonna change that of course we'll see how you know things get changed over the next couple of months with the anniversary coming around i think we'll see a big uh, revamp of this tier list to be quite honest i think there's gonna have to be some units coming down like christmas size and stuff potentially some other units going up like your uh, hosts of fertility units but of course this video is going to be a short one purely because well it was all about Philvis, you know uh there was no point in us taking a look at anything else necessarily when it came to this event uh to be quite honest purely because well uh there was no other like uh, scene card right no new scene cards come out or anything of that sort the only release was Philvis in the last week so like i said uh, there was a lot of focus on Phyllis on how good she was and everything. And so being able to see her in game now and obviously put her in this tier list, I think it makes sense for her to be an S. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.